I, I, it doesn't run. It doesn't, it doesn't roll. Uh, and I'm, I might be regretting, regretting this decision. So this is what's left of the seat. Ooh, a water bottle. Can I still get five cents? No, there's no tag. I'm gonna go with no. Uh, very crusty battery cable. Another crusty battery cable. So, ooh. A Mickey, or no, this is Goofy. Looks like he's been in the fire though. Anyway, so here's the deal. I didn't pay anything for this hardly. So if we end up having to throw it out, I end up having to throw it out. I love the patina on this metal body. It's an 84. There's literally hardly any guts inside of it here. It's been sitting in a field for five years, uncovered, out in the elements, just like this. Um, I figured this could be a very interesting project. I figured, hey, maybe I can even learn how to weld on this thing. I have a plan for it that in my head hopefully works really well. Well, in my head, it works really well. Um, I don't know how to weld. I've never really welded much before. And what I have tried to weld, um, you know, it's boogered. But you know what? Isn't that the purpose of a rat rod? Like, just get in your garage and start building. So uh, I think that's what we're going to do here. I need to get it off the trailer at this point. Um, it's been sitting over my lawn. I don't like that. <laughs> that's okay. All right, let's get you in here. So again, these older 84s, it's got a steel body. I really want to use this body. I would, I'm not going to do anything with it except maybe a little clearer. Um, I would love to try and lower this, but it's going to be a minute. There's not a whole lot left. So I got to learn to weld and grind and put a four link in and do all kinds of stuff. So that is what's going to be upcoming with this, but I really want to use the body. I did find another similar cart that is running it's very cheap price um that has all the guts so but the body's just kind of like a painted white and whatever i really want to use this body um you know attaching points and so forth for suspension we can reinforce it's not too too bad i'll throw a photo of where it was sitting right now put that in there but yeah it just sat in this one spot the tires are holding air but you can tell that's where they sat. And again, the, the guys that we picked it up from indicated that it doesn't even roll. Uh, it's got this little trailer hitch on it. So check this out. They threw in this little trailer that obviously sat right alongside of it for quite a while. It's not rotted out. We can clear this too and potentially use this as like a little cooler trailer or something. Uh, the wheels are shot, but maybe we can just kind of retube them and then that's it with those. So here's the back side. Again, I picture like some old school, like 40s truck taillights. Same thing with headlights, something from the 40s. Uh, I'm hoping that the reason it's locked up, like that brake pedal is completely locked. It isn't moving at all. Um but I think this is the old charging point port. So in this one, all the keys and stuff was over on this side. This still does move. This is the charging port. I think this was a 36 volt. I've never actually seen one of these electric motors this way. I've always seen them off toward the side, like toward the, uh, 
uh, wheels. You know what I mean? I like the front bumper with the exception of it isn't chromed anymore, but like picture like two old school giant lights here. Uh, and then again, that easy go emblem, really cool. Wouldn't do a thing with that. I mean, I think the, the only thing that actually works is the gas pedal does still run and it still goes up and down those little magnets that are there. That's about the only thing that works on it. So we got some mold to blast away. We'll get a pressure washer on this thing here shortly. I'm going to throw, wow, I mean, I got to throw all this garbage out and uh, pull these mats because I think these are at this point just holding moisture. Yeah, I mean, everything in here is wet and it hasn't rained in days. I don't know what it looks like under here. All right, yeah, uh, as expected, not good. I was thinking of bringing it to a car wash and so blowing it off like that originally instead of making a giant mess here in my house. Oh, actually, actually, the floor is not bad. It's not rusted as opposed to the rest of the inside of it. So that's cool. So I've got one, one cushion is still there. This was in the bucket. I'm obviously not going to use this. I guess I'll put this with my old parts bin. I'm going to throw that stuff out for now. Okay, old mats gone. Come on backwards, like four feet. Come on. Keep coming. Might not work. Oh, I just killed my grass. All right, well, we're... Oh, my poor lawn. Hmm. I should have enlisted the help of friends. What am I doing this for? Uh. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, what a piece of garbage. Okay, hop off. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I guess Ron Burgundy is posi traction. Oh, I guess I better go get some grass seed and fix this up. All right, well, anyway, it's off and it's getting dark and it's dinner time and it doesn't roll so we'll get back on this very shortly what what's dude look at this yeah i know it's fine it's funny. i know meet lily <laughs> all right we'll uh see y'all later Good morning. I still can't believe I did this. Anyway, we'll fix it. So it's supposed to rain the rest of the weekend, Saturday morning. 
and uh, I wanted to see if I can get these wheels free. I've really only been out here a few minutes, and I have a win. So I guess the drums were just frozen. Uh, they were not very pretty. Honestly, not very pretty within the whole thing, but I'm just happy that this does turn. So this is all I use, a little sledge there, a screwdriver, and they pry it off. So I think what I'm going to do is, debating just leaving the drums off for now so it'll roll nice and free and worry about the rest of it later. But there'll at least be a roller. That would have made yesterday easier. I should have done this on the trailer. So I wonder if that spot, I mean, that pad is right there inside the drum. So I bet you that is the pad had glued itself right there. And that's why it wouldn't spin. So these brakes are shot. I'm just going to throw these wheels back on. And put some air in the tires and have a roller here. Maybe we'll, maybe I'll pressure wash it. Just to, I don't know, clean it up for some reason. So when it does make it into the garage, it's not such a mess. I don't know. I'm gonna do too much, it'll explode. I've got a brand new set of tires mounted on old some old rims from an old project that we put a set of mods wheels on, but I don't feel like getting them out of the loft right now. Let's see what this one does. That looks good. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't want to roll. Oh, wait. There we go. All right, cool. I mean, it doesn't roll great, but it rolls. Here's a little trailer hooked up. <laughs> So, all right, well, the Bagwell thing, we won't be needing this for sure. So rain is right around the corner. I've got this tucked in, cleaned up, but yeah, air ride. I think so. A little old school looking air ride, rat rod cart, maybe even on the Vetus. That'd be awesome. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you're interested in seeing what happens with this, please like and subscribe. We have a couple other projects that you've met recently. Uh, the 2015 Easy Go, the black one. I got some stuff coming up on that. Chris's card will be back very shortly for some underglow and a couple other little things that we've got planned. So please like and subscribe and stay tuned. I'm trying to grow my channel just a little tiny bit. And uh, we appreciate everybody watching. So we'll see you next time. Thanks.